Gujarat Public Service Commission and for certain district in Chats. Honorable Mr. Jasadabe has interest in academics also. His lordship was a partner and lecturer in Sir Eli Shah Rao College from 1976 to 1995 and also taught 11 students. Elevated to the bench of Gujarat High Court as a judge on 18th of September 1995 and confirmed as a permanent judge on 18th uh, of uh, May 1997. Uh, Justice Dave was appointed as the Chief Justice of Madhya Pradesh High Court and assumed the charge on uh, 7th of January 2008. Justice Dave was patron and chairman of the advisory council of International Center for Alternative Resolution Regional Center Hyderabad. Honorable Mr. Justice Dave was also the Chancellor of the Nasser University of Law, Hyderabad. His Lordship assumed the office of Chief Justice of Bombay High Court on 11th of February 2010 and later elevated as Judge of the Supreme Court of India on 13th of April 2010. We are indeed lucky to have Honorable Mr. Justice Dave as a visitor. We value his Lordship's patronage and support to the Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law. The contribution of his Lordship in organizing this organization is appreciated. Sir, on behalf of Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law family, I extend your Lordship a very warm welcome. I also feel honored to welcome Honorable Mr. Justice S.J. Bajita, the Acting Chief Justice of the Punjab and Haryana High School and our Chancellor of the University. This is Vajita, born on 4th of May 1956. Honorable Mr. Justice Vajita completed his school education in 1972 from Rishi School, graduated from St. Joseph College, Bombay, and later Justice Vajita did his LLB from Huja Law College, Bombay, and enrolled as an advocate on roles of the Bar of Bar Council of Maharashtra and Goa on 17th of October 1980. Justice Vajita practiced on both original as well as upper side in the Bombay High Court in civil, constitutional, company and arbitration matters. His lordship was sold as the editor judge of the Bombay High Court on 22nd January 2001 and was appointed as a permanent judge on January 21, 2003. Justice Bajitdar assumed the charge of acting chief justice of the Punjab and Haryana High Court on 15th of December 2014 on transfer from Bombay High Court. Sir, I welcome your lordship to this presentation. On this occasion of the second convocation, I feel privileged to extend warm welcome to the entire of this gathering. I am overwhelmed to see this impressive gathering of the distinguished dignitaries, guests, students, proprietors, faculty, and the staff. The second convocation of the RGN is being held at a juncture when RGN has already succeeded in carrying out a niche in the legal world and it has become the leading destination of legal education. Now, Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law has become a preferred institution among other sister institutions of the country which are imparting legal education. The credit of all this goes to the hardworking and experienced faculty and staff and to the dynamic and energetic students. I would also like to acknowledge here the continued support of our visitor, the Chancellor, the member of General Council, Executive Council, Finance Committee, the Academy Council, the Academy Planning Board, and members of the Bar and the Bench. I would like to specifically mention here the contribution of Honorable Mr. Justice Hemant Gupta and Honorable Mr. Justice Rajiv Bhalla, judges of the Punjab and Haryana High Court, and members of the General Council, uh, Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law, for their constant support and providing direction from time to time in the development and the growth of the university. I would also like to express my special thanks to the government of Punjab. The government of Punjab. The convocation of the university provides a window of opportunity to showcase the growth and development of the university and to seek further guidance for this nursery of the bar and the bench. I remember vividly that the first convocation was held in this new campus in the mess hall of the girls' hostel because at that time the university did not have the proper infrastructure uh, of the university. Ladies and gentlemen, I will briefly share with you some of the noteworthy achievements of the university in the recent times. It has been a time of transformation of our dream to reality on infrastructure, academic and administrative front. The credit of all this goes to the entire RGNL Parivar, 
We firmly believe that for proper imparting a quality education, there should be proper environment with infrastructure, having all the modern facilities on the campus itself. From the many crowd of the city, we shifted our campus from its interior location of Mohindra Koti to the present site amid its lush green fields. This 50 acre of ultra modern campus has been designed by the world renowned architect from Delhi, Kotari Associates. The campus is the best example of the blend of modern architectural concept with the famous Royal Patala architecture of domes and arches. The network of the roads dotted with the perennial trees is in complete ambience with green patches. Ladies and gentlemen, Keeping in view the fact that the university is completely residential, we have four blocks of hostel, each for boys and girls, separately with the lush green lawns providing a genial environment to the students in the area adjoining the hostel. In the facility area, we have fully equipped health center supported by <coughs> fully qualified doctor, round the clock, paramedical staff. We also have our own ambulance to be used for the shifting of patients to the hospital outside of the city in case of the need. In the health center, there is a fully improvised diagnostic testing lab, still coming of India branch with lockers and ATM facility, the post office with all the facilities, beauty parlor, bookstore, departmental store, juice shop, cafe, laundry shop, they are all housed in the facility area. In order to see that our residents of the university work, how their energy so as to keep themselves physically fit, we have state of art gymnasium. In addition, we have also a very good playground for the residents. For providing comfort of stay with the visiting parents, guests and others, we have our own guest house. In the academic park, with lush green enemies inside and outside, it provides the best environment for students for study. Our each classroom is a smart classroom with the various podium and maybe the teachers to make full use of ICT facility. There are two computer labs for the students and a separate computer lab for the teachers. The whole campus is fully Wi-Fi and supported by data server dates and centralized online UPS. Legal profession today attracts the best and the brightest students. We do understand that such students have very high expectations from the university. We on our part are committed to deliver the best in the legal education regime. And such circumstances, we accepted the choice of this and deserve this under my right in front of you. In continuation of e-governance initiative, the university has undertaken the program of IT based in transformation to improve operational efficiency in academics as well as in administration. For this venture, the university has installed sophisticated ERP software at this academy. Not only this, to keep a check on the menace of the plagiarism, software dungeon has been put to use. Modern LP is also housed in the academic block. The world class book code hall is near completion. The administrative office, uh, offices have shifted to the administrative block recently, which has been inaugurated by Honorable Mr. Justice uh, T.S. Harper, along with the Justice Tabe and our, the Chief Justice and other Honorable Judges, has an excellent uh, reception area where the Lady of Justice reminds us of justice and the role of law in ensuring justice to all, irrespective of any caste, creed, religion, or sex. In the administration block, there are separate conference hall and meeting hall or meeting room with video conferencing facility. And I must say that the construction and maintenance wing of the university has done a commendable work within a very short span of time. Library building, auditorium, and the residency of the vice chancellor and the district are under construction and likely to be completed during this year. I'm happy to share with you. This August gathering that we have an excellent digitalized library with more than 28,000 books and more than 110 periodicals. We also subscribe to e-books and each other through our online legal database like Excel Excel India, Manupata, SSC Online, Best Law India, E Online, V of India, Corporate Law Advisor, to mention a few. Any legal information at macro as well as micro level is only a click away.
Our library has great work, frequency identification, online public access catalog system, which is found in only few of the libraries of the country. The library has a rich collection of books in almost all the areas of law. Our endeavor is, uh, for the university is that it should play a definitive and a vital role of a leader in the global scenario in imparting legal education, research, and extension education. We live in a competitive environment and we strive to provide the best 